Welcome to Tentative Title with Tim. This is a podcast about creativity, about process, about filmmaking, and about screenwriting. Welcome everybody back to the podcast. I hope everybody's doing well. And um, let's get into uh, today's topic. So today's topic is about thinking bigger. And I know this sounds like some kind of guru kind of BS where it's just like, think big, positive thinking, you know, all that kind of stuff. And that's not what I'm trying to talk about here. Although, you know, having a positive attitude, um, trying to, you know, uh, just think positively about your work is is going to help you uh, at least get it out into the world. But um, so the, this whole topic came about because of uh, uh, a, a friend of mine who writes really big stories. Like his stories are so, they're like the world building. There's so many characters. There's so many intricate things about uh, the stories that, that he writes. And then when it comes time to, uh, you know, uh, put it out into the world or to like start to put it into production, uh, compromises come in and, you know, the, the things, the, the way in which the story could be ends up being a lot small, uh, smaller than it should be. And I wanted to bring that up because I've noticed that same kind of attitude within myself that when I'm writing something, the sky's the limit. I will throw in so many different like uh th- you know elements and special effects and just all kinds of things that will you know it, it would be a hollywood budget it would be you know millions upon millions of dollars to produce one of my scripts sometimes and that is you know it's it's great if i if i have a producer or a studio who who wants to make it sure but in the indie space th- there you're not going to get that kind of money you know and and even even with a, an indie film like even a million you know like or five million like that's still low budget i mean that that's that's insane to think about but that that is still considered to be a low budget film so i just th- thought about how how when it comes to uh, going into production for uh, for anything that I write, uh, I tend to say, okay, well, I understand the limitations of production. I understand that there isn't all the money in the world. Uh, I understand that what I put on the page may be... Fifty percent might actually make it up onto the screen, but I should not start going into production with that kind of attitude, of this attitude of compromise, and I notice that just in myself. But I'm sure a lot of other filmmakers kind of look at it the same way, that their vision is compromised from the moment that they want to go into production, and. It happens with everybody. I, I mean, the, the think of any filmmaker out there, um, or you know, even the, the the great ones. There's been compromises to what they wanted to make. Like I, okay, so some a, an example that was actually beneficial is when Steven Spielberg was making Jaws. He wanted this mechanical shark, and the mechanical shark was not working. It was breaking down. It was a nightmare. And what he ended up doing was implying that the shark was there. And that ended up being a limitation to just the, you know, the, 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 you know, the fact that he wanted this mechanical shark and he couldn't get it to work. He was kind of backed into a corner where he had to use what, you know, his plan B or plan Z in order just to get the film done and it happened to work out but he started out going into production with 
yeah, and I, I'm assuming this, but you know, with this grand idea about having this mechanical shark that is really scary, and then you get to see a you know people you know being attacked by it and all this kind of stuff. I'm sure he had tons of ideas of of sequences where you know he could utilize this mechanical shark that his team spent countless hours putting together, uh, trying to get to work day after day. And, you know, and it ended up just, you know, falling apart uh, so that he, he had to he had to use a, another way to get the point across. So that right there is like a happy accident. But when you go into production with a script and you're already ready to compromise that can actually be a wrong way to go about it because if you're already compromising at the beginning, then how uh, how many times are you going to compromise down the road? And I have to say that, like, with my film Look Into the Fire, there were some compromises from what I had on the script to what ended up being in the movie. Now, I'm happy to say that there is a lot of what I wrote that on the page that ended up in the film. And I'm very happy about that. I'm, I'm like, I'm just amazed that, that, you know, we, we were able to accomplish what we accomplished, uh, with the, you, you know, with the resources that, that we had. Um, but I had an awesome team behind me. I had awesome actors. I just, I, I had, uh, you know, the, the dream team who just, they, the day after day, they, they made it, work <laughs> they 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 did what they had to do and it was great uh but there was a a certain part in the editing room the a certain time where i was trying to get these effects shots and i had this idea of what these sequences like there's many sequences in the film but there were they were grander in my head than what I thought we actually captured on the day. And I started to compromise and I started, started to cut and I started to say, no, like the, we, we can't, we can't do that. We can't do this. We can't do that. We can't do this. And that was a, a time when I realized that you, like on the day, I didn't. I, I don't think I compromised. I think I was getting as much as I could with the expectation that going into post, this is what I was going to have when when all of the the special effects were done. And I have to say that like the that even with the little compromises in post, like these sequences are still pretty damn close to what I had in mind. And I am like over the moon about that. But now when, you know, when, when the movie is finally done, which it, it is so close, if it's so exciting to see it come together. Um, but now I'm like, okay, it's time to actually, you know, put it out like, okay, now, now it's, you know, we're going to put it out into the world. Like, how are we going to do that? Like how, like the, the big the big plan um, is is changing because, like you know, the, the 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 industry has changed. I mean, we were, we're still in the middle of a pandemic, and now all the plans to to you know maybe put it into like a movie theater, uh, you know, is maybe not gonna happen, but maybe it will. I mean, like movie theaters are starting to open up again, and you know we can rent out theaters, which is great. So it's like that plan is is maybe still in place. Um, but you know, also just with the way in which films are being distributed has changed so much since when we, we shot the film. And so it's like, are the compromises going to continue? Like, are we going to have to compromise there? Or should I think bigger and say, Hey, you know, the, this film can reach like, we can put this in, 
into like a movie theater and that this or we we can sell this to a like like a distribution company or like what whatever the the plan is that when it's time to put it out into the world like wherever the world is at like just realizing that i can ask for a lot and i can i can um expect a lot from what you know for from distributing my film and but you know a lot of first time filmmakers uh, uh, just kind of jump at the first opportunity uh, that that they get when somebody says hey you know i really like your film and it's like oh you're, you you want you, you like my film oh you want to distribute it oh you, here you go and um you know s- sign it away to you which i you know i a, a friend of mine has dealt with that with with the whole like like distribution of of his you know his early films and you know he he's he has said like i wish like as as much as uh signing some of those deals have been uh great for exposure and for 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 getting the films out into the world it actually hasn't benefited him uh you know on, on in a financial sense or it hasn't it ha- it actually wasn't that great of a deal uh when it came down to it and so it's kind of like the you know he's like weighing the the you know the the positives and the negatives of the whole thing and and he's like yeah i i wish i didn't compromise i i wish i would have like held out and and found a better deal uh i you know in essence like i wish i would have thought bigger and i'm talking about a guy who thinks big like he he is constantly working on 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 his next film and he's always trying to do something bigger and you know to he, he's like an inspiration to try to strive to do more to, to to constantly be working and um that's all about the mindset of like thinking bigger as well it's like you you can't wait around for for somebody to just l- drop an opportunity into your lap you got to go after it and that that's something that like i'm i've been guilty of many times of like like wanting like wanting something but not wanting to work hard to get to it and that's uh, something that i've been trying to change over time because you know the this this life of being a filmmaker you know like they say is a marathon like you you, you know you may have a big movie at one point but you know the, we're we're talking about like maybe 10 years before that happens or maybe you get uh, you get lucky and your first film is really big well you still have like 20 or 30 years of a career that you have to fill with doing other stuff and what is that going to be and where do you want to go and what kind of career do you want to have um to think long term to think bigger it's like yeah not everybody is going to make it to hollywood and that's fine like the, there are so many opportunities to uh you know go into television or to go and and work in like documentaries or or to do like you know, you know, like reality tv like there's there's so many different avenues uh that people can go into that involve uh, the involve the skills that that you know you cultivate uh you know as a writer as a director as a producer as an actor like whatever it is you're doing like those skills are can be used in many different ways and you know to expect that that all of us are going to like to to be like brad pitt status is like it's not it's not gonna happen you know but you can have a sustained career you can have a career in which like you know when you look back at it you look at your your imdb page and you know there are people that i've never heard of that have like 200 credits or you know it's just like wow they did so much yet like they you know like and they they just kept going they kept working they they did bigger things over time they you know they they were working their craft and you know, maybe that's, that's the, the, the place that we all want to be at the end of this is like, is like each project we do is, is bigger and better. Um, and by the end of our, you know, our, our careers that we can look back and say, wow, it, we were stepping it up every single time we were trying to do something different or to, to work on an aspect of our craft, uh, every single time we went out to make something. And that's what i think i i want 
you know, with my career, like I don't want the next thing I do to be less than uh, what I did before, even though I, you know, the, this doing a film is a lot of work and it's very tempting to step back from a, an experience that was grueling, but was, you know, fu- it, it might, it, you know, usually they're really fun. It's, it's a lot of work, but you, you end up, you know, saying, well, I, I want to do something smaller because what I just did was a lot of work and, and I'm exhausted, but I know that I, that I don't want to step back. I want to keep stepping forward. I want to try to do new things or to do something different. Uh, and you know, try just, just to keep striving to, to get more skills and, 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 and get better at, at what I'm doing. So guys, uh, I hope this wasn't too much of a ramble, but you know, I, I want to encourage you to like just in your life, in your career to think bigger and, and to just not go for the, you know, the, to not go after the small stuff. Like you, you can, you you can really uh, get caught up in, in like limiting, uh, you know your career or limiting like where you go simply because it's the easy path like if if people are expecting you to do uh to do one thing then it becomes easy because they could they they will come to you and say well i can you know i can get so and so to do this and and you know the and your your you know your your work becomes kind of like flatlined it it becomes all the same but if you keep challenging yourself, if you keep thinking bigger, if you keep striving to do something uh, a little bit more than what you did before, then you're more likely to one get noticed by the you know the big guys, the the people who are gonna you know pay you a lot of money, who are going to want you to, to work on on bigger shows, that are are gonna you, you know give you the opportunities to that you can actually make. Maybe you have a big script like I do <laughs> and give you the money to make that big script be in the way that you want to make it. Like those opportunities are still out there and it may not make it to a movie theater, but I mean, it will definitely end up somewhere like on a streamer. And if it makes it to like someplace like Netflix, then, you know, that that's a calling card that you can pull out and say, Hey, I have a movie on Netflix, and more often than not, it's going to be something that people can be impressed by because it's like, wow, you're on Netflix? That's pretty awesome. And especially if it's like something that Netflix, um, you know, kind of like ordered, um, you know, as uh, to, to like series or, or ordered as a movie, like that's even more of a of a wow, like you're you're actually like going somewhere. So, yeah, guys, don't. Don't limit yourself to the opportunities that are out there um, because a, a lot of it is just believing that one, you can do it. And that's like so much of, of, of like making it is just having the, the gall to say, I can, I can stand in that same place that, that, you know, the, these other people uh, are and are doing you know the, the this work i i can stand alongside them i can i i can be there making these these big things uh, because i i'm you know developing my skills i'm uh, i can i can be there as well it may be scary it may be um you know it 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 just it's it it'll be it'll be scary <laughs> that's all i gotta say but just have faith that you know, your, your craft is going to back you up that you can do it. Um, and you know, I, yeah, just think bigger guys. So, uh, anyway, um, with that, uh, wash your hands, continue to wear the mat, the, wear the mask and, uh, you know, all that social distancing stuff. Uh, we will get through this and, um, yeah, hopefully, uh, I will have something that you guys can see playing in a theater near you or on a streaming site on your on your television. So anyway, guys, uh, until then, I'll talk to you on the next one. And also, if you want to connect with me, 
I have a email for the podcast. It's tentative.title.with.tim.podcast at gmail.com. Also, I have a Twitter account for the podcast where I post uh, episodes, and that is at title underscore Tim. And you can find... Also, on the Facebook page, I have a uh, page for the podcast, so you can connect with me there. I'm uh, looking forward to hearing from all of you, and uh, until then, I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>